Hello everybody, it's Lou Collins. I just want to do a little bit of a product focus today and create a card with you. Uh, we're having a look at two items from the Textures um, Magnolia Drive collection. Now this has just recently been launched as I'm filming this or I'm about to be launched. Um, so I thought these items are, they almost stand alone. You can use them absolutely with the Magnolia Drive collection, but you can also use them a lot without. So we're going to do some, a few little techniques with them. So I just want to share this card first of all, showing you how I've used the falling leaves. Now this one, I've actually ink blended through the falling leaves. Now the trick with these, both of these stencils, there's actually four in total, but both sets, is that they're all fading out. So all of them have got a solid piece and they fade into or out of the design. That just allows you to look more professional with your stenciling and your masking and things without needing to do any uh, particular sort of ink blending that might be a little bit tricky, particularly if you're a beginner. So the work's done for you there. So there's the falling leaves. I've blended from a green through to a blue, a bit like a speckled egg in there. And you've got the lovely uh, fading technique there. But this time we're going to use, rather than ink, we're going to use texture paste. Now the first thing we need to do before we use any texture paste is build up our background, which I'm going to do with some ink. So you're actually going to get uh, an extra uh, colour combination with the distress range that you could potentially use as well. So lots going on in this video. I'm also going to be having a look at the washi sheets from the Magnolia Drive collection. Um, we're going to use some of these incorporated into our design as well. So let's get started. I think what we're going to use is the random letters. So we've got random letters and falling leaves within one set. And then we've got the distressed damask and the fading dots in another. So we'll pop these to the side. And before I, like I said, before I do my ink blending um, or my stenciling, I'm going to need to blend into the background. So for this, I'm going to need to get myself uh, a mat to put underneath my paper. This is just going to protect my work surface. Now, the colours that I'm going to be using are speckled egg, crackling campfire, aged mahogany, and embossing ink as well. Now, the embossing ink, because it's clear. So this is the, the first technique for you, is I want an area that's almost clear, that's almost white, sort of starting to come through a little bit. So with a clear brush, so this is a brush that I use for uh, only for embossing ink and such, and any sort of clear inks. I'm just going to blend through about a quarter of the card around there. This is about a third of the way down, so there's a strip through there of clear. You won't really see that yet, but we'll come to that in a moment. So then I'm going to take my speckled egg, pick this up with the brush, and I'm going to blend this in from the top. And you can see there where it's starting to capture the um, the embossing ink. It's automatically fading it out. So we're already losing the blue colour, which is great. That's what we wanted. We wanted to fade that out to white in the middle. So I'm just going to build up the blue a bit darker around the top here where we don't have the embossing ink. Lovely. Okay. Then I'm going to come to Crackling Campfire. Now this is quite a strong colour. And I'm going to do that all around the middle here. So a nice strong colour there. And up into where that clear ink is. In a moment I'll bring some more of that clear ink down and just blend it into the orange a bit better. We probably used a lot of it with the blue. So building up the colour nice and strong at the bottom. There we go. I love when we've got an ink pad that's nice and juicy. It does make ink blending much, much easier. If you find some one of your inks or a couple of your inks are starting to become harder to blend, maybe that they're starting to run out. You might need to look at replacing them. Now coming back with my clear ink and I'm just going to blend over. So that's just given us this almost white through the centre back to the white cardstock helps aid that nice transition from orange through to blue and you can keep blending back and forth there until you're happy now the last thing I want to do is just to add some aged mahogany to the very bottom so this is just 
a nice dark colour that blends beautifully into the crackling campfire. Just at the very, very bottom there, not too far up. Lovely, there we go. So we've got a nice blend there. So all I do, and I, I do this with every, every single time that I um, do any sort of ink blending, is I take a water spritz and just spray over that. So that just gives me some little speckles on there and then I'll just flick a few slightly slightly larger dots on there as well. Now the reason I chose to go with these warm colours is because I'm going to be using the orange in the Magnolia Drive washi sheets. So I'm just going to use my heat gun and give this a quick blast to, to dry it all off, dry the ink and the water off nice and quickly. Lovely. Now the next stage for me is to add my stenciling and I want my stenciling to only be in the centre here so I'm going to just pop that in the middle. I'm probably not going to stencil the W, I might not do um, maybe the P for example. You could mask that off, in fact I might actually mask that off because that will just make it a lot easier rather than avoiding it. So just take a little bit of low tack tape. There we go, I've just masked off a couple of the letters. And I'm going to take a white structure paste. Uh, just let's see, this one's still got some in it. It's a little bit dry around the top. And I need a palette knife as well. Now these come in both plastic and metal virtues. I, I just use plastic ones because if I don't wash them up, it's not the end of the world. The metal ones, the wooden metal ones, more expensive and I really do have to make sure I wash those up. So I'm just going to spread this. This one is by Andy Skinner. Um, and it really is quite a thick one. I like that, I like that it's nice and thick. You can really push it in without worrying about it bleeding through the stencil. So just going over all the letters there. Now, this isn't going to show up as much on the blue as it is on the orange. Let me just get there. So we've got, like I say, we've got this sort of fading out technique going on with the stencil anyway, so I haven't got to worry about trying to distress or fade out my texture paste. I can just pop it on wherever I like. I'm pressing it through. This one is a little bit dry. My The pot that I've chosen, is, I've had it open a long time. So it's having to dig to the bottom to get some, <laughs> get some new wet paste. Now I'm not, probably not going to go right to the bottom of this one here. I want to get that S, there's an S there, um, and then we'll do an L, and a little bit more here, lovely, okay. Now because that's drying extremely quickly I'm going to lift that up straight away and reveal it. Bits off. You can see there we've got that lovely um, really quite grainy this texture paste actually but that lovely design in there nice and faded and distressed so pop this the last of this paste I might have to add some water to that see if I can mix it up and revitalize it but that's that's another job for another day put my stencil there because to finish this design off I'm now going to add a piece
piece of washi tape. I'm not worried about the um, the texture paste being dry just yet. It will dry. It's, it's not going to take very long at all. Of course, if you're at home, you'd probably want to dry that off, particularly if you've not used one like me that's already <laughs> starting to dry. Now, the Magnolia Drive washi sheets. These are amazing. They're already die cut for you. So you can see everything's die cut. You just need to peel off. So it's a bit like a shaped sticker. You've got a bit of translucency there with the washi around the edge. I'm just going to peel this off. Now, you do need ideally two hands when you peel this off, just because it's such a large image. And you can, if you want to, you can cut or tear this so you only use part of it. You don't have to always use the whole sheet. So I'm going to place this design something like so. So I'm not using all of it and I'm going to place it so that it goes over the texture paste and where the texture paste is that's just going to be raised up underneath so you're still going to see it and this washi out. There we go. Okay so I'm happy with that. Now you've got the choice you can either cut it at the edges or you can fold it over. I'm just going to tear off the excess, pop them to the side, I might use them and fold over as well for a nice neat finish. And then to really highlight that design I've got a black outline. Now this is cut from this Magnolia Drive um, half tone stamp and die set. So you find details about that on my channel as well. You can find the details for everything I'm using down below but this is essentially an outline die that cuts this beautiful outline here um, but also the stamp to add colour in a half tone effect so really good fun. So this is going to go over the top here and pick out so the, the leaves of the green and the orange over the blue are really going to be picked out. You see it just works brilliantly. So I'm going to use uh, an adhesive spray. This one is a permanent adhesive so I tend to take, I've got a mat here that I use purely just for spraying onto so it's quite sticky. So spray all of that and you need to give it about 30 seconds to dry this glue here so while I'm doing that I can get things out of the way. So put that mat to the side, let that dry and then bring the design over. So it's probably long enough now I can place this, carefully place this over the washi. It should match up, well it will match up absolutely perfectly. There we go, just outlines that gorgeous flower design. Make sure everything's sticking down. And I'm just going to turn this over and use my scissors on the reverse, just to snip away the edges. Now I wouldn't throw these away, certainly not the larger pieces because I'll probably end up using those again on another project with such a large die cut. Make the most of it. Use it where you can. There we go. So hopefully because we've used the washi you can see through, you still you can still see the stenciling in places, you can still see that texture coming through so it's absolutely beautiful. If you love orange this is absolutely perfect for you. I'm then going to just mat this onto um, this black card here so just using a wet glue. I've got the craft stash wet glue here so this is your, your normal white glue. Um, it's really really good though, it's a brilliant glue. Uh, I'm running out, I need to get another couple of tubes of this. It's got a fine tip applicator on one side, it's also got the uh, ink spreader so that's sort of for the larger areas on the other side. Just popping this down. This Textures um, Magnolia Drive collection is really all about really quick cards. So that's onto the black, you can see how that black then really is lovely with that black outline, it just blends in beautifully. And then I'm going to also put this onto a white card base. Now the idea with washi as well is that if you are conscious of posting cards that are nice and flat, don't have too much weight to them, these are going to be perfect for you. So just pressing that down. Still conscious that the, um, the glue is drying on the black outline flower. And lastly, just to finish that card off, 
I'm going to use I've got these sentiments here now these are all part of the Magnolia Drive collection as well so I've got some here in oh you deserve this I really like that actually so these are black and white and but I've got some here that I've actually mounted onto foam, a foam backing so it's an adhesive foam again you'll find that at craft stash as well everything will be linked down below um, and I'm just going to pop this so this is black one you deserve this make sure it's nice and straight and neat got a little bit there so I've got a little bit there that's not quite it's not quite cut away properly so just neaten things up with my scissors I want a nice mixed media sort of look to this but not messy there we go so there's that car now that took no time at all did it so we've got the ink blending in the background we've then got the use of those stencils and the washi all together with uh, one of the uh, die cuts and the sentiments as well so lots from the magnolia drive collection hopefully there you can really see the texture that we've got in the background um please do follow the link and go and see all of the products there you'll see lots of other images of examples of things i've made for this and if you haven't already please do subscribe so that i can show you lots more that you can do with this and other textures collections thank you so much for tuning in today uh, have a lovely day take care bye bye